<coughs> okay, so the, the dominant answer is the negative of the binding energy because they must have lost this binding energy. And the binding energy is the well depth. The potential energy is certainly negative of that value when they're at this location and they're bound into a, into a molecule. So, so B is what I was looking for there, what I was hoping that you would think. Any questions about that one? Yeah. So, um, our, our well depth and some well depth and total are different numbers, correct? Well depth is usually considered a positive number. You would just say the well depth is. And that's kind of like the binding energy. It's, it's, it's usually a, it's a positive number and you say these things are bound and the binding energy is uh, 2 times 10 to the minus 22 joules. So then when the graph is a negative, when the graph is a maximum, when it's at a minimum, sorry, when the graph is at a minimum, when the graph is at a minimum, the kinetic energy will be at a maximum, correct? Now, I'm telling you that there's no kinetic energy and that they are at the equilibrium bond length distance. So, so they're, they're separated by a distance equal to one bond length and that's this distance and they have no kinetic energy. So in fact, their total energy because the potential energy is down here, the total energy has to be down there because there's no kinetic energy. And so they aren't moving and they've lost their, their total energy, sorry, their potential energy is the negative of the binding energy. So that's the picture that I'm setting up here. I'm not sure, I mean, I, I'm telling you there's no kinetic energy right here, actually. Okay, so, so E total is equal to the minimum. E total is the only potential energy? Right. So E total is the minimum. If there's no kinetic energy, then E total is given by the potential energy when the kinetic energy is zero. And if I'm telling you that it's at the equilibrium bond length, then I'm kind of telling you that the potential energy is a minimum. Not kind of, I'm exactly telling you that. Any other questions? Because I'm going to change it slightly and ask a similar question. Suppose we have the same two oxygen atoms. They're, this is still their potential energy. And now I'm going to give you a different situation. This, what value does this potential energy have when they are separated by a distance equal to their bond length? But now they have a lot of kinetic energy. So there's, this is a, a point in time when they're separated by a distance equal to the bond length. They have a lot of kinetic energy. What's the value of the potential energy at that, in that situation that I just described? 